name is Susie Youssef and I debuted with MTC in Home I'm Darling as Fran. I've just received a list of questions from MTC audience members and I'm very excited slash very nervous to see what they've asked. So here we go. Uh, I remember seeing a um, Bell Shakespeare production of Troilus and Cressida when I was in high school and a very young, very naked Toby Truslove was in the production. So I think that was an inspiring moment for me. Uh, I started out in improv comedy and I trained over in Chicago. Um, I wrote a play when I was 15 years old. I didn't even really know what a play was at that point, but I wrote one and was really lucky to have a bunch of excellent actors perform in that. Uh, And then I went from knowing I always wanted to be a writer to improvising and then sketch comedy and stand up and then circled back to acting and writing again and was lucky enough to uh, be cast in Benedict Hardy's The Boat People, which was the first time that I had performed in a professional production and after that there was no turning back. I knew I wanted to do it forever. I auditioned for a car commercial once and they asked me to mime getting into the car and driving the car but no one told me to stop miming and that went on for about five minutes, but I'm sure for everyone involved, it felt like about 500 years. And shockingly, I didn't get the gig. I don't have any superstitions, but for some reason, and I don't know why, I always sing Put a Penny in the Slot by Fionn Regan before every theater performance. And I've always done that. I don't know why. But you can ask Phil Spencer. I made him do it too. The first time I ever was cast in a television show, I didn't know that there was catering. And so I brought a packed lunch and then had to pretend that I had low blood sugar levels and had to eat throughout the day. Huge regrets. I think working on Home I'm Darling was one of the best moments in my life, let alone in my career. Um, And also I will never forget performing with STC in Accidental Death of an Anarchist with another phenomenal cast. I have always wanted to play Joe March in Little Women. I would love to play that role because we have a lot in common. Um, I am still waiting for my German professor to turn up, but I think he will one day. Um, Another role I would love to play is Lucky from Waiting for Godot uh, because I have never played anything like that and I think it would be an awesome thing to do. The first person that comes to mind is someone who I've already worked with, who's Bessie Holland, who I think is one of the most beautiful actors I've ever worked with. Um, But there's so many. I would love to work with um, Genevieve Morris again, Um, someone who I've never worked with. I'd love to work with Faisal Bazzi. Let's see if we can make that happen. For us, oh gosh. I love doing my own accent because it's one I know I can maintain, but I have to say doing Home I'm Darling and learning how to do a British accent that was not quite RP, but it was kind of London. What's a line from that? Um, I used to have one line that I would always do to get into the accent. And she would, she would make me put a pencil under my nose and put my lips so that all of my sound came forward. Um, I'm going to butcher this, but let's do it anyway. I used to say, um, just you never really know what someone gets up to when you're not there, do you? Or how they are with other people. That was awful. Sorry, Geraldine. I think every actor wants to be able to look at a script and just remember it instantly. But if I could have any superpower, I would want to sing. I would want to be able to sing. And I know that's not a superpower, but for me, it it is. I would have to say Rent was one of the best shows I'd ever seen. I was only like 15 or 16 years old and it was one of the first musicals I had ever seen and I absolutely loved it. Um, what else? Gosh, there's so many. It would be so hard to narrow this down to the best. But yeah, Rent is definitely the most memorable. I would have to say the thing that's helped me the most as an actor was training as an improviser because it made me quick on my feet and adaptable to change. 
Um, but in general, I think do as much as you can. Short courses and sport and travel really help you become a better person and a better actor. Um, yeah, just do as much as you can to become a dynamic human being. Yeah, that's all right. That's the advice I'd give. Thank you so much for all of your questions. I can't wait to see you all in a theatre soon. Bye for now.